Okay guys, like you saw in my last video, uh, I was uh, looking for a replacement for the Sky CPX2. I did end up selling that pistol and I looked around at a lot of different uh, guns. Uh, there was some I liked, some I didn't like. Uh, I, I was actually wanting to buy the Smith & Wesson Shield and the reason why I didn't was the magazine release is not swappable. It's it's swappable on every other MMP out there except for the the shield and I was like ready to go ready to buy it and I told the guy I was like hey um, can you swap that mag, le uh, mag release for me and he's like oh on the shield it's not switchable and I was like oh so we stopped the paperwork <laughs> I was like in the middle of doing paperwork for it and decided not to not to buy it so uh, shopping around I just didn't see anything that impressed me the PPQ uh, was the PPQ and then there's a the PPS is that what it's called? The little, their single stack. I didn't. I wasn't really impressed by it, and the price tag was kind of. It was expensive. It wasn't a cheap gun. Uh, the Nano, the Breda Nano, I held it, and it just felt weird. I I just was like, yeah, I'm just. It didn't really fit my needs, and you know, and I I didn't go into if the mag release was swappable or not with the uh, with the Breda. Just because it, it after it didn't interest me, I didn't have any more questions about the gun. What what happened was, I really did like the uh, the XDS, and I'm not a Springfield fan. You guys know I'm not a Springfield fan. Uh, one, I'm not a fan of Springfield importing guns from Croatia and, and slapping their uh, name on it, and then be like, hey, here's our gun. That's that's a problem I've always had, and I, and the grip safety is a problem I have too. But, uh, and the XDS is actually not that bad. And I've gotten over the Croatia thing, even though, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, every time I mention that, people go, well, you're a Glock guy, you, you have a Glock. I'm like, yeah, Glock's made in Austria. It's not like Colt is making, uh, firearms in Austria at the Glock factory and importing them and throwing Colt on the name, okay? That's, that's totally different. So when people say... Glock this, or Yoda Glock, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so, I went with the XDS. Uh, I went with the Essentials. Since I'm left-handed, I don't need all that other crap that comes with it, with the holster and the magazine holder thing. I don't care about that crap. So, the Essentials pretty much comes with the gun and two magazines, your back strap, uh, extra fiber optic stuff that I think these are pointless on the gun because the fiber optic is not long enough to really matter. And it comes with a cleaning brush, which is in my cleaning kit. And to show you this is not my wife's gun, here's my wife's gun, which is currently in service. My gun is in service, so you're not going to see me handling that at all. And I got my own sticky holster. Uh, it comes with a 7-round magazine and, and an 8-round magazine. Uh, this 8-round magazine is on sale on eBay, and it will be sold by the time you watch this video it will be already gone <laughs> I just don't care for the uh, 8 round mag uh, I want concealability so I get maximum concealability and when I'm at the range I like the train with the way I'm carrying my firearm so I just rather get another 7 round magazine I did change out the back strap it came with the bigger one already on I didn't like the bigger one so I went ahead and put the smaller one on and I like the smaller back strap on there so I want to leave it like that. What's funny is my wife picked up uh, this one, and she liked the smaller back strap, so I put the back strap, uh, the smaller one, on hers as well. Other than that, guys, uh, the gun shoots really good. Uh, let me go grab some targets real quick, and uh, I'll show you those. Okay, here's some targets. Uh, they're both from 10 yards away when I was just breaking in the pistol. This is me getting used to the trigger. Uh, shot, shot started off to the right. I've been uh, working with that and I've been able to get everything kind of in the center. And then towards the later part of the day, I was doing pretty good. These were some of the last shots I did before I left the range. And this was at 10 yards and it was about 50 degrees out. So you can see I'm actually getting better with that trigger. So accuracy 10 yards is really good. Uh, I don't really practice that much past 10 yards with pistols. I, you know, especially a self-defense pistol. I try to keep them in the self-defense range. Uh, I'll go out to 15 and 25 sometimes, but I try to practice at like 7 yards and 5 yards for a real life scenario. But uh, on that, guys, uh, XDS has a uh, ambidextrous uh, mag release. So, and you saw my previous video I did on the XDS, 
it's uh, difficult to push the mag release when it has loaded magazine uh, that's already in the firearm. So to me, it'll work great. I've been carrying this now for about a week. Uh, it's been working good. Uh, like I said, I got my own sticky holster now, and I, I swapped out the shell from my Alien Gear holster as well. I sent the old one in, and they sent me a new one. So everything's looking pretty good. Uh, I got night sights on the way. Already ordered them, so. Uh, the XDS will have night sights here very soon, along with my wife's XDS that will have night sights as well. Other than that, guys, pretty much it. Uh, here's the essentials. You know, it drops the uh, the price down by about a hundred bucks. Uh, we paid five forty for my wife's XDS, and I paid I want to say four forty for mine. It was uh, like exactly a hundred dollars cheaper by going to the essentials. Uh, so watch my other video. Uh, all it does is it comes with a bigger case, a holster, and a mag, magazine holders, and for the hundred bucks, I'm kind of like, I'd rather just get the essentials and just go buy the accessories that you're going to use rather than some stuff that's going to sit in a drawer or sit in the case itself. So, uh, so that's it, guys. Now let me know what you think. Uh, question, comments. Uh, yeah. Until next time.